Greetings from Team Rover X. We are a group of passionate undergraduate students from the Vellore Institute of Technology building mass rover prototypes. Our team is divided into six departments, namely electrical, mechanical, CS and autonomous, astrobiology and life sciences, management and R&D. We are related to present our video presentation for the Anatolian Rover Challenge. The mechanical department focuses on designing, manufacturing and assembling core subsystems of the rover. The dry system of the rover is a double rocket suspension coupled to a modular space frame chassis consisting of V-slot links and aluminium tubes with the aim to improve accessibility and reduce weight. The rover is capable of traversing a wide range of terrain topographies such as rocky, sandy, muddy terrain with steep drops and harsh climbs. The ground clearance has been increased to ensure the rover doesn't collide with obstacles during traversal. The double rocket system coupled with a bar differential helps to maintain the center of gravity and achieve mobility. This configuration maintains proper weight distribution and ensures sufficient ground contact at all times. A kill switch on board the rover instantly stops all the motions of the rover ensuring safety. For better precision and control during task, a completely new arm with 6 degrees of freedom has been designed and manufactured. Custom manufactured worm gears at all joint increase stability, providing zero backlash with high reduction ratio. Each joint includes a motor with a high resolution encoder for accurate velocity and position control. The end effector uses a worm gear to drive the fingers that are designed to carry out several tasks. The electrical department works towards the power electronics, drives and control electronics of the rover. Power to the rover is provided by two 24 volt lithium polymer batteries with a total run time of about 90 minutes. Power from the batteries is distributed through a custom power distribution board and a kill switch in combination with the relay is used to kill power in case of emergencies. Low level processing, motor control loops and their associated feedback is handled by an STM32 F4 microcontroller with code written in an embedded C in a task oriented manner. A debug port on the rover uses ST suite of monitoring software to debug the rover in real time. Our computer science team works on the core aspects of rovers computation, communication and control. For communication between the base station and the rover, we use a combination of a sector and omnidirectional antenna which has non-line of sight range of 2 km. The science department primarily aims to develop and implement suitable onboard instruments and laboratory analysis which has been specifically designed, keeping redundancy in mind to test the hypothesis for the given site. We use an organ screw conveyor system to collect and distribute samples into a carousel which caches the sample with minimal cross-contamination. The test tubes have a cap which acts as a one-way valve that opens by a certain force supplied by the horizontal auger while depositing the soil, after which the valve closes, effectively sealing the tube, protecting the sample from external environment. A custom-made Raman spectrometer is used to perform the accurate compositional analysis of a given rock sample. An NPK probe is used to analyze the soil sample for presence of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium which is used to determine the organic content, soil quality and its capability to harbor life. It also provides us with the soil pH, moisture and temperature. A digital microscope is used to determine the physical properties of a given sample and aids in the detection of microfossils and microorganisms that might be present. The weather monitoring station on board the rover is equipped with a suite of sensors that measures the atmospheric composition of various gases of biological significance along with temperature, pressure, humidity and UV radiation. The region-based laboratory analysis consists of carefully optimized qualitative tests which detects the presence of important biosignatures in the soil. A primary test consists of hydrogen peroxide test that detects the presence of organic matter, enzyme and biological entities in the soil. The successful completion of this test is marked by efficiencies of carbon dioxide and minute quantities of oxygen. Furthermore, it gives us a basic idea about the organic content of the soil as it, the intensity of the gaseous emission is directly proportional to the biological oxygen demand of the soil. Another test, namely Skip's reagent test, is chosen to detect the presence of aldehydes through color change in the sample solution. These aldehydes are of biological significance as they are important intermediates in various metabolic processes. Moreover, carbohydrates, one of the most abundant biomolecules, are derivatives of aldehydes. Together with the help of data obtained from the soil analysis, rock analysis, and weather monitoring station, we can properly test our hypothesis to determine our, whether our hypothesis stands. The research and development department focuses on the long-term goals for the various subsystems of the rover. This year we are developing our custom CAN node for the robotic manipulator to ease the assembly and cabling of various electronics and to introduce modularity in our systems. For our future rovers, we are designing 3D printed wheels from TPU95A materials with a honeycomb structure lattice optimized for shock absorbance and reduction of weight. We are actively working on the unit based approach for noise removal and building the dataset for various rocks to optimize the inference of a spectra obtained from the Raman spectrometer. Apart from working towards rover development, the team also believes in inspiring young minds towards space robotics through participating in technological events and conferences. The team laid foundation in 2014 as a part of Creation Labs at VIT Vellore. Since then, it has gone through multiple successful iterations of mass rover prototypes to produce Kronos this year. The university has provided us with Project Slab, which facilitates us with a proper workspace and instruments to work with. 
Our university helps us participate in various national and international competitions through various allowances and permissions such as the International Rover Challenge which took place in January 2023. Through the team's hard work and dedication, we were able to secure the second position worldwide. Our rover is currently undergoing extensive autonomous testing in accordance to ARC's objectives and rules allowing the rover to develop robust control for the mission.